Got my peppermint tea. Although it's much too hot to be drinking tea right now, but that's fine. So, how is everyone? How was last week? Want to hear all about it? Leave me comments. You know the deal. Okay, this week is probably one of the most important topics we could talk about, and it's about how we make feeling good a priority. Above all else, feeling good. Because we can't manifest or attract beautiful things in our life if we're feeling bad. And feeling good has to be our number one priority, no matter what. No matter what. We do have control over how we feel and how we react to different situations. A lot of feeling good has to do with the stories that we are telling ourselves. We create stories, we create, you know, things that have happened to us, things that we need, our goals. These are all just stories. They are just stories at the end of the day and they are all changeable. And we need to really, really dive deep and figure out, are these stories making us happy? Are they stories that are uplifting us? Are they stories that are going to really, really have a positive impact on our lives? Or are we replaying negative stories? I listened to a talk recently from Tony Robbins and he talks about how we have a blueprint for our lives. Um, and to me, that just really sounded like another story that we were telling ourselves. So he says that we create these blueprints and when we start to feel depressed or anxious, it's usually because we're not actually living on the path of this blueprint story that we've created for our lives. So we need to understand that these stories are changeable. And we have the power, if they aren't making us happy, to completely rewire our brains and tell a different story. If you know that that blueprint or that goal is something that you just have to have and it's going to benefit you and it's the, the goal is positive itself but maybe it's your feelings surrounding it then you need to work on your thought process we don't want to feel like we have no control over our lives and we tend to make these really outrageous blueprints for our life that we kind of feel like we're out of control when we aren't on the path we feel really far away from that goal we feel like there's no way we're going to reach that goal and we get depressed understand you can change that or you can change your thoughts. When we think our life isn't matching how it's supposed to be, we tend to blame other people. Blame them for, you know, them keeping us in a shitty relationship or the things that happened to us when we were kids or this traumatic experience and we blame, we blame, 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 blame. And while I'm not taking away that those things may and did happen to you, it doesn't it doesn't affect your present moment, okay? That shit is in the past. And you trudging it back up and bringing it into the present moment is only making this present moment unlivable. And this moment is all we have. This is our this is our beautiful, beautiful life that we can create and we can do anything we want with it. So if we can do anything we want with it, why would we bring up all the negative shit that's happened in the past? We need to understand that we can take control of our lives and that no one, no one, no one, no one has control over us. Only we do. It's a hard concept for people to grasp sometimes because of all the bad shit that could have possibly happened to them. But just understand that the way you react to that stuff is your choice. We've all been through really, really horrific things, but it's the way you deal with that and the way you move forward in your life and the way you allow yourself to grow and learn from it. Tony Robbins also says that some of the two most important things in life is growing and giving. And these can be really important things to remember when you're creating your story or creating your blueprint or creating goals in your life. So, is it going to make you feel expansive throughout your life? Are you giving back to your community, your family? Are you actually benefiting your society and the people around you? Also, when we reach a goal, a new standard is set and we tend to fall back into that depression of like, 
oh, I'm not happy and things don't feel good anymore and I thought I'd be happy when I get here. But the reason why you're not happy when you achieve a goal is because life is supposed to be expansive. You don't ever reach a point where you're going to be happy and fulfilled indefinitely. It's, it's never going to happen. So learning that every time you reach a goal, you're going to have to make a new goal and set a new standard for yourself, but always keep the mentality that everything is okay and everything's expansive and this is beautiful and don't create that story of negativity surrounding you, okay? And also, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. We need to be grateful for what we already have to expand what we want. Please, please don't look at your surroundings and see it as, this is horrible, this is shit, I want something else. You can long for more, but be grateful at the same time, okay? And you're not going to get the things you want if what you're looking at makes you really unhappy. So, another thing. Really, really, really make gratitude a priority. In order to make feeling good a priority as well, we just need to differentiate between bad feeling thoughts and good feeling thoughts. And that's a really simple way of just like, okay, does this feel good when I think it? No? Okay, well then fuck that. I'm not going to think that thought. This may mean that you have to put yourself first more often, make self-care more of a priority. Maybe you need to work out more, maybe you need to eat better, but you need to figure out what actually is going to benefit you in your life. So I'm going to pull an angel card for us. This is one of my favorite decks. It is Daily Guidance from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue, and I love, love, love her cards. I have too many of them, but let's see what these have to say for us. Perfect timing. And that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card to pull after this because everything will happen in due time and when it's supposed to happen. You just need to keep your faith and work towards the things that make you feel good. So, what this card says. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. While you walk through them with us by your side, don't delay or procrastinate. As all of the ingredients are ripe for your success, everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. I'm here supporting you. I know we're all gonna support each other in this journey. And I just want the best for you guys. I seriously, seriously do. Okay, let's get it. This week, we're gonna, we're gonna really acknowledge what stories that we're telling ourselves and what is no longer making us feel good and we're gonna fucking cut the cords on that and we're gonna say bye, okay? And I think another really important thing uh, that I would love for you guys to do this week is maybe even just sit down and, and write out what areas of your life do you actually really, really feel good in? And let's, you know, let's enhance that. Let's really, really bring gratitude to those areas of the, our lives that we're feeling good in. And by doing that, it's only going to expand our positivity and our good feeling thoughts, okay? And hopefully the other areas in your life will fall into place. And the ones that you're not so happy about, maybe look at that blueprint or that story that you're telling about that area in your life of how it would make you happy if and when you got to this certain goal. And say, you know, is this something that I really, really want? Is this even a goal that I made for myself? Or is this just trickled ideas from society and friends and family that I actually don't give a shit about? So let's be present and let's be aware of what we really, really want in life and make feeling good a priority, okay? Talk next week. Bye, guys.